In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If any man would come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. For over twenty centuries, the Church has gathered on this day to remember and to relive the events of the final stage of the earthly journey of the Son of God. This year, however, we gather virtually, in the confines of our own homes, as domestic or family churches, to follow the footsteps of Jesus, who went out carrying his cross to the place called the Place of the Skull, which is called in Hebrew Golgotha. We are here because we are convinced that the Stations of the Cross of the Son of God was not simply a journey to a place of execution. We believe that every step of the condemned Christ, every action and every word, as well as everything felt and done by those who took part in this tragic drama, continues to speak to us. In his suffering and death, too, Christ reveals to us the truth about God and man. What does it mean to have a part in the cross of Christ? It means to experience in the Holy Spirit the love hidden within the cross of Christ. It means to recognize in the light of this love our own cross. It means to take up that cross. It means to take up that cross once more and strengthen by this love to continue our journey, to journey through life in imitation of the one who endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, fill our hearts with the light of your Spirit, so that by following you on your final journey, we may come to know the price of our redemption and become worthy of a share in the fruits of your passion, death, and resurrection. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. There Jesus stood, bleeding, physically beaten and innocent. He was being condemned to a horrible execution because of a paranoid and weak Roman leader. Many of the people who were present at this unfair trial were those who walked with Jesus and were moved by his teachings and miracles. But now they stood silent as an innocent man was led away to be cruelly executed as a common criminal. Let us pray. Jesus, we too have been condemned innocently as we experience the fear and concern caused by the coronavirus. Life as we knew it a couple of weeks ago has changed. Church services have been suspended, schools closed, businesses are shut down. People are dying, and the virus is spreading. Like Jesus, we are caught in a crisis we have no control over. Give us the courage and love you showed us as you willingly accepted an unfair verdict. Help us not to be silent, but rather turn to prayer for all those who have died or have contracted the virus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
the second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The cross Jesus carries is heavy. He has been weakened by physical abuse and a torturous scourging. He accepts the weight of the cross. Around him there are shouts of insults and mockery. Despite the angry crowd's derision, Jesus begins his painful walk to Calvary. Let us pray. Jesus, you showed so much courage as you carried the cross. Help us these days to accept the uncertainty and disruptions of our daily lives caused by the coronavirus. Help us to speak words of hope in the midst of fear. Help us to turn to prayer for those who suffer from the virus. We need to reassure each other that together we can face this crisis and eventually find a cure. We are not alone. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Third Station Jesus falls the first time under the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Already weakened, Jesus finds the weight of the cross overwhelming. He collapses. Getting up is difficult, but he is determined to complete his journey to Calvary. He doesn't have to, but he gets up to show that he loves us. In the midst of jeering and insults, he embraces the cross and continues. Let us pray. Jesus, you showed us the power of love and commitment. Help us these days to endure the difficult times we live in. So much is going on, and we feel disoriented. Give us the grace to support each other. Give us the grace not to let the weight of our own concerns and fears keep us from being people of faith and hope for all of our essential workers and family members. Help us to be aware of those who may be overwhelmed with the weight of fear that this virus causes, and to trust that you are with us always. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Fourth Station Jesus Meets His Afflicted Mother we adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We can only imagine the sorrow that Mary felt as she encountered her son, bruised and beaten, struggling along with the weight of the cross. She heard the bloodthirsty cries of the spectators along the road. How hard it was for Jesus to see his mother so distraught and helpless, they could only look at each other 
and share the agony in silence. Let us pray. Jesus, we know that you see the suffering and confusion of a world that is in turmoil. Many have died from the virus, many are suffering with it, and others are in fear of contracting it. May our eyes and your eyes meet and bring us reassurance that all will be well. May we look to you for strength and hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Fifth Station Simon of Cyrene is forced to take up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We do not know much about this man called Simon. He was just passing by and was forcibly made to carry the cross for Jesus. At first, this was not done out of compassion for the suffering Jesus, but rather because the soldiers did not want Jesus to die before reaching the place of execution. As they went, Simon learned to share in Christ's sufferings. Let us pray. Jesus, during these days of unprecedented precautions that have changed our daily lives, preserve us from sadness, anger, and depression. Help us to do our part in carrying the weight of so much disruption in our families, our parishes, and our communities. We are all asked to make sacrifices in order to lift the burden and slow the spread of this virus. Praying for each other and supporting the efforts needed to erase this pandemic will make us all remember that we are the body of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Sixth Station Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. What a courageous and compassionate woman! Veronica saw a human being suffering and reached out with an act of kindness. We do not know if she knew Jesus personally. All we know is that she offered dignity and comfort to a suffering man. While others mocked and insulted Jesus, she did what she could to let him know he was not alone. Let us pray. Jesus, these days help us to remember the thousands of Veronicas who are working hours and hours to help control the pandemic. They are nurses, doctors, first responders, international, national, and local government officials. Help them find the way to end this health emergency and keep them safe. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Seventh Station Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Even without the heavy weight of the cross, Jesus falls a second time. Each step on this road to Calvary has been filled with agonizing pain. You might imagine that Jesus might have been tempted to stay down, but his love for us was so great that he struggled to his feet and continued toward his destination. Let us pray. Jesus, the road we are walking these days is so new and uncertain. It is so difficult to live in this isolation. It is so unsettling as we wonder when things might return to normal. We miss gathering for the Eucharist and being nourished by your word and sacrament. Help us not to stay down in worry, but help us get up and walk in faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Eighth Station Jesus Meets the Women of Jerusalem We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Along that dusty road to Calvary, Jesus encounters some women from Jerusalem who are weeping as they see him struggling along. Daughters of Jerusalem, he tells them, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Jesus seems to be telling them to not worry for him. He knows his destiny. He wants them to care for each other so they will not grieve like those who have no hope. Let us pray. Jesus, there are many of your sons and daughters who weep these days. Some have watched loved ones die others who are at high risk for the virus, and others who are losing jobs and savings. Help us to be instruments of compassion. Let our prayers be not only for ourselves, but for others who may need our love and support. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, 
world without end. Amen. The Ninth Station Jesus Falls a Third Time We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Will this be his last and final fall? What great love he must have for us to once again get up and continue. There is no sign from anyone that at the last minute he will be given a reprieve once he arrives at Calvary. Nevertheless, he presses on, putting aside pain, doubt, and fear. He says yes to the will of his Father. Let us pray. Jesus, when will this health crisis end? We are growing weary as each day seems to bring us more bad news. The isolation and social distance is so hard. We and our families are feeling cabin fever and are uncertain about when normalcy will return. Give us the strength not to fall under the weight of discouragement, but rather bring us all together as we lift each other up and take one more step in trust and love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus has reached Calvary. Now he must face the indignity of being stripped of his bloody clothing. He came into the world with nothing and soon will be leaving with nothing. But this cruel act could not strip Jesus of his love for us. He accepted this humiliation and opened his arms to be nailed to the cross. Let us pray. Jesus, the coronavirus has stripped us of so many things, from being physically present at the celebration of the Eucharist, at work and at school. It has taken away so much human contact. Help us to see that all these precautions can be tolerated as an act of love. Help us to understand that making these sacrifices will help save lives, stop the spread of the virus, and bring a faster end to this pandemic. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Eleventh Station Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
as the nails are cruelly pounded into Jesus' hands and feet upon the cross he carried. Could he have been thinking, My people, what have I done to deserve this? Why such anger toward me? I spent my whole life loving you. Forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. Let us pray. Jesus, we are tempted these days to also ask, What have we done to deserve this? Reassure us that the answer is nothing. Help us to always remember that you are a God of love, not revenge and punishment. You are a God of mercy. You are a God of healing. We stretch out our arms to help each other through prayer and trust to always remember you have not abandoned us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Twelfth Station Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Even as Jesus hangs on the cross, he is still proclaiming his message of mercy and hope. He forgives the repentant thief. This day you will be with me in paradise. He cries out, I thirst for the salvation of all of us. And he proclaims his trust in the Father. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Jesus loved us to the end. Let us pray. Jesus, we thirst for the end of this worldwide virus. In our fear and concern, help us to place ourselves in your hands. As we feel nailed to this heavy cross of living in a pandemic, remind us of the resurrection. We will rise from this moment, deepen our faith, lead us to in hope and let charity guide our every moment. Into your hands we commend our troubled spirits. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Thirteenth Station Jesus is placed in the arms of his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. There is no greater sorrow for a mother or father than the death of a son or daughter. Our blessed Mother Mary was not spared this sorrow. She witnessed her son's horrible death and could do nothing about it. We can only imagine the pain she felt as she embraced Jesus' lifeless body. She was truly the sorrowful mother. Let us pray. 
Jesus, there are so many mothers and fathers, sons and daughters that are crying at the loss of a loved one during this coronavirus pandemic. We call on our Blessed Mother to hold in her hands these grieving families at this difficult time. Help us to remember that we are all in this moment together, and it will be together that we will find strength and hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Fourteenth Station Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This is the last station, but it is not the end of the story. Three days later, Jesus is raised from the dead as he promised. Death was defeated. Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. This is the good news we profess as Christians, even at this time. Let us pray. Jesus, we want to believe things will get better soon. Our walk during this pandemic continues to be our way of the cross. We ask that you place Simon of Cyrene's on our path to help lighten our burden. We ask that you place Veronica's on our path to remind us of our dignity as humans. We ask that you place men and women on our path to hear our cries of concern. And we ask for a strengthening of our own faith to believe we will rise from this dark moment. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We conclude these Stations of the Cross with a prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, true contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment. While I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words which David, your prophet, said to you, my Jesus. They have pierced my hands and my feet. They have numbered all my bones. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 